Okay, so you're gonna need some wire. You're gonna need uh, an RDA and a mod, of course. Some cotton, juice, and two screwdrivers, preferably one to wrap your coil on, one to tighten down your screws. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do seven wraps. I like to start over the screwdriver like this. Some people like to start it with it underneath. So this right here counts as one wrap, even though I haven't wrapped anything. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what I'll do is pull out some of that extra slack and clip it. And then you do the same thing for the other one. So I'm gonna do this one a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right. Now that you have your two coils made, we're gonna go ahead and put them in. <clears throat> so what you wanna do is take one of these two leads. I usually take the one that is going underneath like this. This one's going over. And that'll go on my negative post, which is this outside post here. And the one that goes over, it's gonna go into the positive post. Like such. Now you're gonna tighten down your negative post to keep that one secure. All right? Same with the other side. You're gonna put one in the negative post, other in the positive post. Bend that up out the way. Tighten down your negative. Now we can tighten the positive. It should look something like this. Now what you're gonna do is clip the excess leads. Two. The tough part is going to be getting to these positive leads. So what I'll do is just move this coil over a bit. Get my pliers in there. I mean, clippers in there, not pliers. <laughs> it's a sharp pliers. Ooh, that one. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> All right. So now that that's clipped pull out a little bit to take some of that slack out. You don't want to do it too hard and pop the wire. And then I like to push it over so that they're both right in the center. Just like that. Okay. So now, what you're gonna to want to do, <clears throat> heat this up slowly, check for hot spots. So you see how it's a little patchy there, it's not glowing. You want it to glow from the inside of the coil out, like, like that. So since it's patchy, we're gonna just scrape it a little bit. Get in there. Fix this coil again, pull out. We have a call. All right, so this one looks like it's glowing a little faster. So what you're gonna wanna do if one's glowing faster is pinch it. All right. So it looks like they're going at the same speed now. Yep. So now, time to wick it with some cotton. Cotton. You want those coils to be cooled down or you're just going to burn the cotton. <sighs> Alright. Tough head. 
this card. Built strong. American cotton. Right? Right. Yeah. America. America. Yeah. All right. So when I put my cotton in, since I bent this coil this way to center it out, that's the way that I'm going to insert my cotton. In case it snags, it's just going to pull it the same way. Give it a little twist as I'm putting it in. And give it a little bit of fluff. Clip those ends a little bit farther out than where the metal is on the base of the RDA. You want a little bit excess so it'll touch the bottom of the base in case you over drip. It'll catch that juice and suck it up. Same thing on the other side. Pull a little bit of this off, it's too thick. Uh, what happened? Turned off. It's still recording, but. Why did the light turn off? <laughs> bit of technical difficulty. Alright, and we're back. Oh, damn. More technical difficulties. Too much cotton. You gotta have that cotton just uh, tight enough to where it, it's not gonna snag, but it's also gonna pull through. If that makes any sense at all. Nice middle ground of tightness. Whoa! Come on! <laughs> Some damn iPhones. Alright. Okay, so now that the cotton is in, Gonna take it, tuck it underneath, and then push it towards the wall. So underneath, push it towards the wall. You don't want it right underneath the coil because that's where your airflow has to go through, has to travel through here. If the cotton's there, it's just gonna block it up. You're gonna get a really tight draw to suck up some juice. Nobody wants to suck up hot juice. No. Never. Do the same thing to the other side. This one's been a little more difficult. Just gotta work with the cotton. Each piece of cotton is different. Okay. So now that that's in, Juice it up and vape it. And that's uh, that's that. So Simple yeah, as that. We made it look easy. So, uh, yep, thumbs up from DJ. Thumbs up from me. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the art of building a coil. So, I guess we're just gonna wrap this up by saying. Uh, we're going to enter into a new world tomorrow. We're not really sure what it's going to look like. It's going to be the same vape shop, different different way of doing things. We're going to have to, uh, let's go check out the taster bar since that's going to be affected. We're going to have to put on a charge to the taster bar. I know it's kind of dark over here. The light's not working on the phone, but they're not allowing any more free samples. So, I think we're gonna have like a dollar charge on the taster bar. Um, oh look, it, it brightened up a bit. Yeah, I could have turned on the light. It was some authenticity behind the scenes after hours at Big Chief. So yeah, we, we try to allow the customer the chance to, to find a juice that they really like before they spend money on it. But the FDA wants customers to spend money on it before they even try it so we're being forced to do that we can't make any more new flavors so what's there is there and that's gonna be it I don't know it's kind of sad but we're gonna try to make this transition as easy as possible for us and everybody so from us here at, at, at Big Chief, DJ, Ronnie. Um, keep on kicking ash. Like a Big Chief. <laughs>